Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Second Home, the guitar podcast. Today, I'm showing you the Nether Octaver by TC Electronic. This is from their smorgasbord of tone line of pedals that are all really affordable, cover a wide range of classic effects that, honestly, every guitarist should check out at some point in their playing career. All right, let's check this thing out. Here's my dry signal from my Titan by Cower uh, on the Neck P90. Here is the nether with the octave one turned up just past noon to match the dry signal. I really like the sound of this thing. It's got this really nice, warm, analog signal path going on. It doesn't sound filtered or digital or processed in any way because it's not, it's all analog. Uh, but the trade-off there is, yeah, your, your single note runs sound great and they sound just full and natural, but it gets really confused when you start to play chords. You might've noticed that when I played that, that uh, A chord there. You can hear it jumping around. Now this is either something that's gonna piss you off, in which case you shouldn't buy this pedal, or it's gonna be something that you embrace because it's funky and it's quirky and it's glitchy. That's how I feel about it. I think it's really neat to kind of like strum a chord and have it jumping around. It's jumping to octaves and notes that work with what you played. It's just not sitting at one note. It's a lot of fun in my opinion. All right, let's check out the range of the knobs here. Here it is with the octave one all the way down. It's just your dry signal. Just a little bit to fatten it up. And here's the extreme range. simulates like a bass guitar, especially if you roll the dry all the way down. You can keep this around to remind your bass player and your band that, hey, maybe we don't need you around all the time. I can cover your part just fine if you call in sick. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, let's check out the sub octave. This is gonna be real low. I'll pull down the dry signal so you can hear that sub octave in its full purity. I don't have my amps up very loud right now because I'd be worried about blowing my speakers with this one. Uh, I recommend for guitar players running fuzz or dirt after an effect like this, just so you can save your amp, you know, from having to work too hard making these really, really low frequencies. A fuzz or a drive will help bleed some of those off and turn them into a wider range of uh, EQ. So let's, uh, let's silence some sounds and try blasting some fuzz and overdrive. Here's the dry sound. I mean, just with the nether anyways. The tube pilot. And here it is without. With. Let's get more extreme. Let's check out the fuzz.
<laughs> that's too much fun. Uh, with fuzz, it just gets so heavy and gnarly. Ah, oh, man, I like that a lot. That's a great sound. Let's see what happens when I strum a chord. I'm not smiling for the camera. I'm just smiling because I'm having fun. <laughs> That's a great sound. <sighs> for the price, this is such a great pedal. Such a classic effect. It gets really weird if you want it to. Fills you out if you want. Oh, man. It's, it's a good one. This is... I'm a big fan of this. All right, I'm going to play out with some sort of random, awful noodling that no one needs to hear. Like, subscribe, dislike, leave me... Uh, terrible awful comments that you'll be ashamed of later i can handle it and if they're too terrible i'm gonna report you i'm gonna flag you to, to youtube you're racist or sexist i'm gonna take care of you buddy you watch out <laughs> but if you want to hurl insults at me i'm fine with that too all right thanks for watching guys later